earliest on the traveler's advisory. Traffic is slow due to dense fog. As the morning progresses, we'll be seeing a warming trend, and the fog should burn off by noon. If you're flying out of the city, expect some delays. You know, in this country, there are airlines are reportedly losing about $300 million a year because of diverted flights when airports get socked in with fog. It burn up fuel, and they have to go to alternate airports. And uh, so this could mean a bottom line savings to them at normal fuel prices of about $300 million a year. So it's important to get rid of it. Dr. Gordine's latest patent is a fog dispersal system specifically for airport runways. Small boxes line each side of the runway about an eighth of a mile apart. Each box contains a small generator that shoots compressed air about 300 feet into the fog. The air is charged with negative ions and mixes with the neutral fog particles. The negative ions charge the fog particles which in turn are attracted to the positive ions on the ground. Essentially, it rains and the air is cleared of fog which gives a pilot clearance for takeoff and landing. As soon as the airplane can see the landing lights from, say, 300 feet up and, uh, say, a mile away from the strip, well, of course, uh, the airport's open. He can see. There's no reason um, to worry about fog at all. When I went up to Cornell as a freshman, I wanted to go into engineering physics, but in the meantime, I concentrated on track and field. I, get, I got to be captain of the team, All-American, and in a couple of events, uh, hurdles, intermediate hurdles, low hurdles, and in the broad jump. And in 52, I went to the Olympic Games, and, the, and I got a silver medal in the broad jump. I missed the gold medal by four centimeters. <laughs> very frustrating. But uh, it was a, you know, a very, very fulfilling experience to go over there. Two, zero, times, one, two, five, equals. Dr. Gordine is president of Energy Innovations Incorporated. Although he has become progressively blind over the last 10 years, he continues to develop his theories of electro-gas dynamics. Presently, he holds over 50 patents worldwide. Three, 